Okay, we're going to approach ISO Circ 4 differently from the other drawings we've done. We're actually going to draw this, this lower section, this base section. We know it's a length of 4, a width of 1.5, and a height of 0.75. Now the reason I know this line's a length of 4, if you look at the radius, which is 2.0, which is the distance from here, from the center of that circle to this edge, if that's a distance of 2, then I know this is also a distance of 2. Overall length is 4. Let's go ahead and start with the rectangle tool at the origin. Click release. And this time I'm going to type in 4 comma 1.5. And I'm going to push pull up by clicking once a height of 0.75. Now I'm going to go back to my drawing and we're going to draw this line right here. This line actually falls in the center. And the reason I know that is that 0.75, which is the distance from here to here, puts me in the center of this of this block that I just drew in SketchUp. So I know that's in the dead center. So I'm going to go back to SketchUp. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Let me hit L for Line Tool. So if I were to hover and find midpoint, there it is. I'm going to click once. I'm going to go ahead and move. And once I see a red line appear, I know I'm perfectly parallel with the edge. And I'm going to move to that back edge. Click. And I can just click my tape measure just to verify. So the distance from here to here is 3 quarters of an inch and overall width was one and a half inches. So I know that that's perfectly in the center. Nice thing about SketchUp, it can find midpoints rather easily. Okay, let me go ahead and jump back to my drawing. And now I'm going to draw this region here. And the way I'm going to draw this region here that extends up is I'm just going to push pull. So once again, P for push pull. This region here, if I click on it once and go up, actually comes up a distance of 0.75 or 3 fourths of an inch. And the reason I know that is because looking at my drawing, we can see that they tell us this is a 0.75 or 3 quarters of an inch in height. Okay, now I'm going to draw this half circle, which has a radius of 2. And in doing that, I'm going to switch over to my, to my front view hit A for arc. I click once here on this corner. I'm going to click a second time over here. I'm going to move vertically and I should see a blue line appear. And I'm going to type in 2 and hit enter. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. A little bit of a rotation. And I think you can see what's going to happen next. I'm going to hit P for push pull. I'm going to click once. And as long as I touch this back edge, I should have moved a distance of three quarters of an inch. So as long as I touch any part of that back edge, I should be fine. Click. Going back to my drawing. Last thing I need to do is draw this circle, which is in the center of that half circle that I just made. And it has a diameter of 1.0. That's the diameter icon. So once again, I'll go back to front view. C for circle. I'm just going to hover until I find midpoint. There it is. Click once. Oops. There it is. Click once. So once again, the diameter was 1, so the radius would be 0.5. Now, before you push pull, I recommend you erase, E for erase, you erase this, this line, and this line. If you don't, you're going to notice push pull is going to do something a little funny. So I'm going to hit P for push pull. Click once. And it's kind of hard to see if you've gone through this. So as long as you touch any part of this back edge. Okay. Let's click again. Now you'll notice that I still see a face. If I right click and hit erase, right click, hit erase, and just erase that line. Oops. I'm going to do that. There it is. Okay, save your work. Move on to the next drawing. 